go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Abrupt start because the error keeps popping up. Let's just go. And we're almost, we're almost done with the game, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No context. Yeah. He's evil crash. No. Who knows? Yeah, he's just kind of here. <laughs> That's supposed to be an evil Coker as well, but yeah, this is a uh... yeah we're on Twin Sanity Island. Haha. <laughs> oh. What when a message pops up in this game now, I get paranoid. Yeah, fair enough. Good. God. Yeah, shouldn't be too much longer in this game at this point. Yeah. God, love that scale. I think we're coming up to a really uh, memorable line in, in a second. Yeah. Uh, well, so hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully I actually sound fine in the recording because I'm using a different headset today. My daughter, niece. Yeah. How do you get that mixed Yeah. And we're back to this gag again. <laughs> yeah. This insanity thing makes good thinking music, actually. Yeah. <laughs> God. Alright. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game, by the way. I love this. Oh, yeah. Well, we paused the game, but then I was gonna play. <laughs> Wait, what? Pause the game. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, at, look at the pick, didn't need <laughs> Yeah. I do like the artwork. Yeah, the, the, the game just has a general art style that I just vibe with. This is also really hard. Yeah. We are, this is the last world of the game, so it is uh, going to require a lot more um, precision. There's a lot more nitros in the way. Yeah. And also, um, I think they, I think that you will crash an awful lot. Yeah, he will actually kill you if you touch him, so don't do that. And also, <laughs> there's, the, there's, I like how there's an actual. Oh my god, I like how there's an actual end to the pit. Like, they they just stop falling. Yeah. Alright. More of this. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Oh, I feel this. I can jump. <laughs> I can keep jumping to stop it a little bit, but yeah. Had some sparks flying from underneath his legs. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I'm kinda of vibing to this song, it's just kinda of bopping. Yeah. Yeah, the end game has really good music. I if I remember the final boss, it like goes super hard. Oh yeah. I think it's one of the best uh, uh one of the best boss themes in the series, honestly. Yeah. And people have made uh, oh god. People have made a uh, uh -huh. pretty pretty good uh like PS1 sound fun remixes w uh, with it. Oh, really? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, if he, 
If he yeah. hits the nitros, he's fine. <laughs> Evil crack like that, bro. Yeah. Thank you. No wonder why you keep dying. Yeah, you're, you're coming in a little bit, Wood, Jason. Any better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, because, um, again, my call messes up whenever I have audio playing. <laughs> Okay. Good. What, ha what the fuck happened? I just touched the. Oh god. Do it again! What? Just touch him? Yeah, do it, does it again. Why? Yes. Oh, wait, oh you, oh, you died. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I looked away for a second. I thought, I thought you went backwards and suddenly you just triggered Cortex. Oh. It, it's, it's like a. It's like a so, someone that's said, someone funny though. Yeah, it's like what someone said at one point. Why does walking into a bloke kill you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that was you. Uh, I, I've said that before, but it, I, I'm not the one that uh, came up with it. it, it it's from. <laughs> I, I think. I think what it, what, what it was. Um, so, oh, okay. Uh, someone did a Crash 3 LP. Um, and they ended it with like a death montage, <laughs> and <laughs> it's just like, why does walking into a bloke kill you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Yeah, this it sounds funny, especially out of context. Yeah, there's a lot of um, these uh, little um, <clears throat> puzzles with the gems here. We can skip over all of this, but I do want to at least show this off. Um, I, if I remember how to even do any of this. Uh. Well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm playing Fire Emblem Fates in the background, so why are you doing this? Fates? That's interesting. Yeah. I was in the middle of a run of Fates, so I might as well finish it. I'm playing on hard mode. It's not, not, not there. Is that not how you do it? Wait, also what's interesting? Oh! Well, well, why, do you, why do you say it's interesting? Wait, what? Wait, when I said, oh, I'm playing Fates, you're like, Fates? Because, uh, I mean, I... <laughs> Fire Emblem, I, I... I don't know. I, I'd assume you'd be playing, like... Free Houses or something? I don't know. Honestly, mechanically, I like this one more. Oh, no, I'm stupid. I just need to do this. Yeah, hey, but anyways, I'm, I'm... Honestly, mechanically, I think I like this one more. Huh. Alright. Be careful, huh? And sometimes, like, just simple mechanics are what you need to motivate you. Yeah. I just... Okay. I, I just know that face is, like, really mixed. Well, story-wise, it's extremely mixed. Gameplay-wise, I think it's one of the strongest. That's interesting, because I've heard the complete opposite with some people. I've heard people that really don't like it, uh, gameplay-wise as well. Hmm. i never heard complaints over the gameplay. Well, because, uh, like, I think the gameplay this is, like, extremely uh, strong, because of how it, um, uh, Because of, like, how they improved on, like, some, like, the dual, like, the, the pair-up system from Awakening. It's, um... I don't know, I might be... L uh, listening to the wrong people, but... Yeah. yeah, I know they're, yeah, they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I hear like different. I, I don't really know what the general consensus on a lot of Fire Emblem games. Well, but they... Fire Emblem fans don't know how to have a consensus. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I, yeah, it's one of those things where like, I hear you kind of just hear a bunch of different things, so I don't really know what to believe. Oh my god. No! Damn it. I don't know how much this matters, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I like the, uh. Like, I guess, twisted version of the, uh, main theme, if you will. Pretty much. Oh, 
Also, I'm ordering food. No, so don't I can't look do at the game oh. right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I think you can cheese this. Um, <laughs> if you like, just body slam at a specific spot. You just grab the gem. I don't know how precise this is. Ugh, camera, please. Uh, this ain't gonna work, is it? Screw it. Uh, I'll give it one more try. Uh, let's see. Because the, the ball, like, kind of magnetizes to you, towards you. Ooh. All right. And then you don't do that. Oh, wait, did it work? Okay, I got it. Nice. All right. Cool. Now we can move on. Yeah, th this uh, little hub area just basically has a bunch of challenges with the balls. <laughs> So sinister. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Before we do that, there's more stuff over here. Okay. Okay, how do you do this? Oh my god! Not like that. Okay. Can you not fall off, please? No? Please. Okay, I think that's... Yeah, I think that's better. It's like on the edge. We need to get like a better angle for this. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> oh, the way, what happened? I fell. Okay. Yeah, uh... Let's try this again. What should you do? Um... Okay, I, mm. I need to like, launch this into, into the nitro somehow. Like that? Screw it, can I just... That, this is just gonna kill me. Hmm. I'm only trying to do that. I don't want to figure this out. Well, go ahead, that's obvious. Okay, uh... Because, like, that just... No? Okay, so, like, just... What if I just... Okay. Okay, that might work. That feels like it would just kill me, though. You wanna try? I mean, you probably don't even know what I'm doing. No, but you wanna try? At least you're honest. Why is it not working? Okay. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, I just realized you can't uh, slide with an R1 anymore in this game. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, fuck this layout. <laughs> Ten hours to get one gem. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hard. It's gonna be. I can't. There's not enough room on these platforms. You know, I'm just gonna go for it, I'm 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 gonna go for it, I'm
Yeah, it's pretty satisfying to get an actual landing on the side jump. No. That works. <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to do that properly. <laughs> Screw it. Alright, let's just get a move on. Um... Oh, yes, I remember exactly how I wanted it. I don't want to play them together. I love that dopey ass animation. <laughs> okay, does Nino actually have a hitbox? No, okay. okay. There's nothing actually here, I think. Actually, I think I can. Um... Okay, more of this stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh! Okay, this <laughs> doesn't have the regenerous um, physics. No, that is very. Oh, hi, you're back. Yeah, just smiling at the follow back is terrifying. <laughs> well, I, I, he doesn't even say woe in this game, he's just completely new. Oh, damn it. Okay. Mm. Mm. This, yeah, um... Okay, cool. I think spinning does uh, negate, like, the fall. Uh, like, it issues spin has the less likelihood of a crash doing the um, animation where he just flops in his... Oh, there's what the heck. You good. No. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how cold the rest of the No. Oh, it feels like actually. Uh, yeah. Let me go over here first. <laughs> so, yeah, I see a gem over there. Um, I'm not going to tie it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a cutscene with her. Um, what the heck? My numbers are. Oh, I'm sure Crash and you. I'm sure Crash and you have. I'm sure Crash and you have a very verbal conversation. Who's this? I think she has, like, she has like one line of dialogue. Who voices her in this game? Okay, well, at least uh, she had an actual role. Mm. Oh, why do we do this? Uh, no? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Mike. Okay, just fall into the water. Um, yeah, that's not the numbers, I want those numbers. I need to, like, have it bounce. No? Well, maybe I need to spin it from here. Because, like, the spin just sends it straight while the slide, like, makes it bounce a bit. I need to, like, just ricochet it somehow. <laughs> That was better. Oh, that could have never gone more perfect. Yes! Sorry. Got I, got good number. I got good numbers. Oh, jeez. Okay. How? Okay. So, the, okay, I, I don't really get some of these. Okay, hold on. I need, okay, hold on. I need to, like... Hmm. Ah, that's correct. There we go, okay. Works. Cool. Alright, so what do I get? Okay, here we go. Yeah, just go up here. And fail. <laughs> cool, I'll just do that. Cool. I think Okay, there we go. Yeah. They don't really use these cannons so much in this game, do they? But these are just like the first of the last areas. Hmm. Do I even need to body slam? No. Alright. Alright, this should be the last gem here and then we can move on. Uh, we're missing one, but yeah. that's good enough. What a night to blew up the jam too. <laughs> this is a completely novel observation that no one else has ever made. Oh, it's the last time we just do the anything? Yes, okay, cool. We can get all the jumps, huh? <clears throat> yes. Right, the reward is nothing. Yeah, I mean, you don't. Yeah, it doesn't give you like a pop up or anything. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling right. <clears throat> yeah. You know, my mom both. Right. Okay, I can swallow up like a. I don't know. This, this should be the exciting part. <laughs> this, this, can actually be this can actually be pretty tricky, because uh, unlike the- oh, okay. I forgot that that was like, uh, okay. Um, yeah, th this one can be pretty difficult. Gets a lot more tight than um, uh, the B chase. Also, Evil Crash just kind of <laughs> spins in place. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Okay, the the one thing you want to make sure you want to make notice of is the uh, pay attention to what you're actually uh, spinning with the uh, uh, with the exclamation uh, boxes because some of them are tricks. You, oh, okay, you don't want to just spin all of the, all of them. They uh, try and catch you off guard. And there's like some gems to the. Uh, to the 
like, <clears throat> uh, back every now and then, which uh, make things a lot more tight. Ah. Oh, retreat, retreat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's generally better to just jump on the uh, on the plungers instead of like spinning them because it skips like the whole like spinning animation. But sometimes it's just you just can't really help it. Ah. All right. And then. Evil Crash is just suddenly back. Ah, oh, depth perception. Ugh. Two range only, huh? So how do, how do you guys feel about the uh, way this game does uh, the different scenarios and stuff? Uh, like, uh, I, bleh. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm like being all tongue tied. <laughs> Yeah, that's a track. <clears throat> you cut out for me for a moment. How do I feel about what? Uh, you know how this game has like all these different scenarios and stuff, like Crashing Cortex. Okay. <laughs> uh, Crashing Cortex, like uh, in a ball, like the. I think the game calls it like Humiliscate, uh, and. These chase sequences. Uh, basically, how it how do you feel it handles like these different like scenarios uh, and whatnot? <clears throat> oh gosh, why are you making me talk? <laughs> uh. It's almost like this is a commentary. <laughs> you don't call me in for my commentary. <laughs> 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 Happy times, like stories. <laughs> oh! Gosh, it's our throat. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I, I enjoy the scenarios just as a. Um, they fit Twin. Pardon me. What do you say? They fit Twin Sandy's whole vibe. Um, yeah. Not sure how much I tolerate playing through them if I was dying, you know, 79 times, but. <laughs> They work for what they are. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I've noticed. Oh. Oh, God damn it! I've no. I've noticed that you can't. If you're spinning, you can't tr uh, double jump. Okay. Mm. <sighs> Yeah, I, I mentioned it before, but I, I think I think there are more natural implementation of like the normal like vehicle type levels. I mean, th this ain't like a vehicle level, but um, I, I guess a like gimmick stage is more accurate. <coughs> um, I think that I think this works better than like the stuff in like the 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 other games because it's um, it's more naturally woven into the the uh, game itself, as opposed to, um, y like, you're suddenly <clears throat> riding an animal, or you're suddenly um, on a motorcycle, or what have you, uh, and it it's, like, based on the level you go to itself, whereas um, this is based on the story, um, and, like, what's going on, which I think is a lot more fun, um, and it just kind of adds to the whole Looney Tunes-esque mm -hmm. um, design. I'll say, 
Okay, I was wondering if it was actually gonna stop. <laughs> I thought they were gonna have another tug of war with the crystal. Yeah. Yeah, uh, crystals don't mean anything anymore, but like, they're still collectibles for some reason. <laughs> so, I made a commentary on their presence in the franchise at this point. Yeah. So this didn't is... you just hit a, didn't you just hit a checkpoint crate? Did I? Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, this, I guess this is, I mean, the dev stopped this part of the game crashed a lot. Either that or they just uh, didn't want uh, players to like walk like 10 feet every time they died. I don't know. Okay, more of this nonsense. Oh, gee, what is this? I had to leave for a second to get a bandage. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I had to leave us for a second to go to bed. <laughs> what the heck am I doing here? What is it? I've never actually <laughs> tried getting this. It's very weirdly designed. It is just like hit, yeah, hit it and then spin it. Yeah. I mean, spin the thing and then you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> this doesn't seem too bad, but it, it seems to just be a patience thing. Just make sure mm. it's like yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, you can just move the other platform. Yeah. Um. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, that wasn't so bad. Yay, jumping so where I can't see where I'm landing. Alright. Did you love it? Alright. <clears throat> oh, is that just okay. a free gem? <gasps> uh, maybe. Uh, if I knew where the thing was. There's a bunch of those. Okay. Wait. Ah! Uh! I'm gonna lose all my lives ch just trying to get these stupid things. Do I even... Can I just... No, that's too high, okay? <laughs> if, if, if I could actually do a slide jump in this game, I could reach that. Alright. I hit red. Because this blows up immediately. <laughs> oh, go <okay>, the bomb. <gasps> yeah. I think yeah. my food is here. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The the green ones you need to like uh, guide to a spe specific spot. The red ones you just make them blow stuff up. Uh, okay. Uh. That activate. Okay. Where is the switch for this? Not just back here, is it? It wouldn't be. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, can you tell I've never complete a uh, hundred percent, a uh, hundred percent of this game before? <laughs> Okay, I gotta find this out of principle now. I think this is like a walk back. Let's see. Let's 
a very elaborate area. Oh my god. I appreciate the lives at least. Yeah, this sends us... Yeah, this sends us way back here, okay. Well, okay! <laughs> Game, you good? What? <laughs> nice. <sighs> Alright. Oh! Okay, is that... Is that it? Yeah, okay, let's do just... Okay, we got the gems here fast. Too bad. Okay, now we can actually do the final stage. Good. Then, then we can all go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna stand her. <laughs> okay, th I remember this being a really good final level. Like this is a, this is some of some of the best platforming in the series. Mm -hmm. I can't see it then. <laughs> oh, you, you you've never seen this, have you? Well, I I think if I have seen it, it's been a while. Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually focusing. Okay, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. My voice just went out there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that's so funny. Oh! <laughs> Got there. Uh oh! I see. You good? <laughs> Very unique setting as well. I don't think... Uh, I can't really think of another game that has a, a design like this. Me either. It's really cool. So I, I, I really... I wish the twins had more time to actually shine, because like... Man... They don't do much, ever quest. <laughs> so they have a cool lair and they... Um, I, I like the d designs and they're fun villains, but they don't really get enough time to do much. Nope. I mean... I will say this, they do... Um, they do, um, like... Go out, go out out of the way to like make them a, a credible threat at the very least. Um but like yeah it's not very clear what they even wanna do. <laughs> we bad. Cause like yeah the the fact that they took out both of the masks uh, should be um a pretty big sign that these are guys you don't mess with, but like yeah, they didn't do enough of them. Hi. Hi. Oh, this, is, this is new. Yeah. I've never seen this. Oh uh, yeah, you, neither do you have see, seen this level before. Yeah, this, this is a really, really good level. This is one of the best levels in all of Crash, honestly. That's a pretty oh, awesome. footage I've seen of this game. I've never seen this portion. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very strong way to end a, end a game, in my opinion. Because uh, a nice build-up to the final boss and uh, gives you...
the uh, most intense platforming uh, challenges up to this point, and it just, yeah. They're a unique design as well. Yay, color jumping. It's like... Oh! Okay, cool. Uh, do you guys have anything else to say about the evil twins? Um, not really. <laughs> Honestly, they... I kind of wish they made more of an impression, but they just kind of exist. Hmm. Yeah. There's not really much I can say. And I, I don't think uh, Scrappy said much about them yet. I didn't say much about them because I haven't played much of this game, so I have much of an experience with them. Well, I mean, just going by, like, cutscenes and stuff. <clears throat> I was gone for half of the second se session, remember? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, well, um... Uh... Quickly, do something funny. <laughs> 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 I know there's one part part where the where they uh, trick you. Well, fine for what they are, and you know, it's a nice album. No one ever forgets to lose that for a change. Oh. If I had to sl slide on, yeah, um, yeah, I, I like I like them for being uh, unique because um, it's nice to have someone that's not um, like your usual suspects and whatnot. Yeah. So that that's one of, one thing I will say. Um, the uh, can you like go away, please? <laughs> uh, one thing I will say about um, Crash Four is that while I do like the uh, villains in that game, it doesn't really introduce anyone new, um, with the exception, I guess, the female entropy, but still. Um, Whatever. <laughs> um, like I I that that game does what it. Uh, what it sets out to, but um, I appreciate this game for um, just going a bit more out outside the box, I feel. Mm. That being said, though, I I, uh, I think Entropy deserved to be, like, a quote-unquote main villain in a game outside of, like, I mean, <laughs> I guess he's the main villain in Entranced, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk. You make it sound like we don't talk about Ed Train. No, I like I like the game itself, but like um, the uh, GBA games don't exactly do much in terms of story. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> and Trans did more than just one game to wrap the Cortex did honestly. Uh, in what sense though? More developed plots, if only by a hair. Eh, I mean, I guess, but like. Crash 1 and 2 weren't doing. Crash 1 at least wasn't doing much. <laughs> no, um. I think it's down to the presentation more than anything. Because, like, the, uh, the cutscenes in the, the actual console games have a lot more room for just personality and stuff. And you can't really get that out of, like, the GBA. So it just kind of comes off as a bit, eh. I mean, you don't need fully mo fully anime cutscenes to have a good story. RPGs were just quite talking to each other for decades. No, but um, I don't know. It, it the I think that it's just the way the way the <clears throat> GBA games like just portray the story. Just um. They just feel really forgettable. I, I like the idea of- I, I like what, what um, at least Entranced tries to do. Also, are you guys good? 
Um, but it's... Yeah, I don't know, it's not very memorable. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, I guess I'll respectfully disagree, but, like, regardless, it doesn't really have much bearing on whether... Why am I talking? I need to rest my voice. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> regardless, it doesn't really have much bearing on Sophie's prominence in one handheld quote unquote side game. It's that was his starring, that was his kind of lead villain role, and like Harry Fitzgerald treated him like the main villain because he was, for all intents and purposes, the main villain of that game. So I think it should be counted right. before it's about time. Uh, I guess. Um... The only reason I would discount is because the Vicarious Visions titles are kind of finicky with their continuity with the rest of the platformers, but... Mm. Yeah, I don't really know where you'd actually slot in those games, because uh, the... Uh, okay, here we go. The, um... The the trilogy like the the trilogy like lead into each other and then like Rafa Cortex leads right into Twin Sunny, um, and then the uh, Titans games just kind of start at some undetermined point in time, and uh, it's not <laughs> you, you, it's not really clear where the where the GBA games are supposed to take place if at all. Hey. <laughs> If you have entered come out by, by itself and not done any follow ups from DV, I would have said took place before, war, after Warfolk or Rapid Cortex, but. Mm. Entranced. The existence of Entranced kind of puts a. kind of. kind of destroys that because Punch is already established as part of Team Bandicoot. Mm. But it also takes place like roughly directly after a huge adventure because you know, Cortex is exiled. Oh, what the heck? I don't, I don't know what the point of this so, is. So, who knows? Yeah, uh... Like, like there's this is kind of definitely a continuity with each other, but... Yeah. Um... I don't know, maybe I'll have to play those games again. Uh... I, I remember... I I remember enjoying the games themselves for the uh, like the the actual game part um, for huge adventure and and trust I remember liking quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's mainly just like without the uh, I think it's just because the the cutscenes and the voices and the animations are just so um, just have so much life in the console games that. Um, having them just be st like still images in the GBA games, for me anyway, it doesn't leave as much of an impression. Even if, yeah, I mean, I, I, I it does. Entron specifically does a interesting idea where like um, the uh, like they actually try to uh, capture the uh, the good guys and whatnot, and they and Coco and Crunch are like bosses. Um, I do like that. I, I think I think it would be really cool. I, I don't think this will ever happen, but I think it would be really cool if the GBA games got like full on like 3D remakes and had those kinds of like cutscenes put into it. But I don't think they'd ever want to do that. <laughs> you know I'll crash died again. Yeah. Okay. At best, I could see Entrance popping up again, but oh my god, again, new introduction at this point. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I I would like to see Entrance make a another be in another game. Oh my god. Okay, so this is post recording, Harry. I wanted to elaborate a little bit on what I meant about the GBA Crash game stories. Uh, the reason why they don't uh, have m as much of an impact to me as like the console games is pretty much primarily because of the lack of 
animated cutscenes and whatnot, I feel like if, if they were actually animated and had like all the voice acting and stuff, uh, they'd be a lot more interesting to me because it's like it's basically like take a story like Twin Sanity or Mind Over Mutant, and you know how wacky with the game we're playing right now with Twin Sunny, like how wacky the characters are, how like in like ridiculous the scenarios can be, um, especially gameplay gameplay wise and all that. But imagine all that, but it's just pictures, and I feel like you can't really get that much personality when it's just the pictures themselves. Like you can get some of it, like the there's some of it in the GBA games, but it's. Com compared to if it was animated with the voice acting and whatnot, it's a lot more limited to what it can be. Uh, so it's like, again, Mind of Mutant, there's so many fun cu cutscenes in that game, and the voice acting like elevates it so much, especially since all the cutscenes have different uh, art styles and all that good stuff, and it's just really fun to watch. And imagine if, if like, all the cutscenes in the game were just... It was just in in-game kind of art style but it was just flat uh, images with like text and that was it like imagine how how much less interesting and fun that would be and that's basically why the gba crash stories don't really like do it for me in terms of like an entertainment factor i guess and that's why i basically <laughs> wrote entranced off as being like entropies uh, like game if you will which it still is like I feel again I feel like if they remade the game so it actually had those kinds of cutscenes and uh, whatnot it would be a lot better but as it stands while like more so entranced uh, like huge adventure I can like they uh, the story for that game uh, it, I can uh, they <laughs> I, I don't know like I can go with or without that one, but I feel like Entrance definitely has an interesting story that you could expand on, especially with the new character and Entropy being the main bad guy and Cortex just not being there whatsoever. Like, it has, like, good story ideas, but again, the present, like I was kind of trying to get at in the, in the part here, the presentation is a major factor for why it kind of falls flat for me, because, yeah, like, the a good chunk of the of the charm of these games is just how much personality is in the dialogue and the animations and whatnot and again just not having that it it kind of just exists uh for me like that that's basically what i was trying to go that that's basically what i was trying to say in this part i've had a lot, lot of time to like actually think about this a bit more so i can articulate it better because yeah, this, <laughs> this is being recorded months after this playthrough is done, like, was, like, fully done. So, yeah, I've had a little bit more time to think about this. And I guess my main... I, I guess the other thing I was trying to say is that the since the GBA games, like, the continuity in the timeline for them is a bit, like, questionable, I didn't really... I didn't really think about Entrance in, like, the topic of, like, Entropy being a main bad guy, because I was, in my head, I was try I was mainly thinking about the console games, like, the main, like, not I think there's, like, nine mainline console crash games at this point. Like, that was, that's, that was my mindset when I talked about this in, in this episode. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to elaborate a bit more on this topic and, like, <laughs> make it so... Like my stance or opinion on opinion on this, like maybe made made a bit more sense if I like you know, explained it a bit better. But yeah, I I I just wanted to clear that up. So yeah, that's all. Uh, th this will be the end of the part as well. So next time it should be the Twin Sanity finale. So enjoy. Uh, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys later.